on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. Here's Rush. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Second and three now. Here's a give up the middle. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Back to the well again. Has some space inside the 15. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys cut it to a low point on the scoreboard. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, that's so just a difference-making receiver, King. Yep. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. For the point after, here's Aubrey. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Cowboys tie things up at 14. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Sims now on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Stroud off the play fake. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Yeah, this is a time where offensively you got to regroup. You got to get in that huddle. You know, quarterback is the most important leadership position. Everyone's looking at you. And as a QB, after taking a sack like that, golly, you got to flush it instill some confidence and move this ball forward. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Both teams neck and neck so far. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They have second down behind the sticks. Another try following the sack. Complete out to the right side. And he's up across the 20 before going out of bounds. Sure showed off some mobility on that play. Got outside the pocket and easily found an open man. And the Cowboys bringing on an extra DB here. Third down coming. Operating from the gun. It's Stroud. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. It's 
out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. So it'll be Tommy Townsend once again to punt this away. Cavante Turpin on the return for the Cowboys. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they're going to take over possession. The Cowboys then running back Rico Daddle back out now. And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. To the air with Rush. He's got it over the middle. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Throwing, rush. Finds the in route, complete. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Elliott straight ahead. And they bring him down around the 34. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Here's Rush to throw. He completes it in traffic. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Here's the lone back on the handoff. And he is into the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys take a second quarter lead. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. For the point after, here's Aubrey. The point after splits the uprights. And the Cowboys break that tie and now lead by seven. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Sims now on the return. And look at this return. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. They're out and set. First and ten.
They'll begin with a run by Mixon. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Offense to the line for second down. Here's Stroud. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Cowboys are able to bring this back to the 35-yard line. He was trying to fit it into a window in the zone coverage, but by the time he let it go, boy, Brock, that lane had closed, and someone was there to make a play on Now, what you're trying to do in zone coverage defensively is make that quarterback see a window that isn't actually there. And as soon as he takes the bait and sends it over the middle, well, you got one, two, three defenders all there in range to go pick it off. They're set up at the 35 now. Rush. Throwing this back in the end zone. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And now they face second down. You know, I don't fault that look at all, Kate, downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. Second and ten now. Complete over the middle. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Kate, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. A give on third to Elliott. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. They are now set for first and ten. Now we're on the counter. And not much for him there. He's down to the 15-yard line. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Rush now to throw. And he will score. It's a Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. For the point after, here's Aubrey. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Cowboys double their lead to 14. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Sims now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line.
And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They kick the running back in motion. That's a catch for Nico Collins. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Throwing now off play action. Catch is made down the right sideline. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Here's Brown now. On target to his back, Joe Mixon. And they bring him down around the 34. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 34. Flushed out of the pocket. This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. This guy, Kate, he can create. He really is good out there. He's skilled when it comes to getting outside the pocket, which makes it all the more impressive. They contained him so well when he was clearly, clearly looking to generate something with his legs. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Shotgun now, first round. Complete to Dell. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And finally they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. From the 25 on second down, finding Collins. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. Kate, okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. Versus man on a drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Here's Stroud on first and 10. The throw is caught. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Mixon on the toss. And he cannot shake the tackler along the line of scrimmage. No gain on second down, and they need two here on third. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. Looking to throw on third and two. Touchdown, Houston! 
Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Texans chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Turpin with a return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Cowboys back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And I'd say the ROI on his early touches have made him a, a pretty good investment for first-half work. He's gotten off to a great start here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. And they give it to him again. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Rush now. Throw complete to Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. The running back gets it on the draw. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Play made that time by Danico Autry. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. It's caught. Ferguson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball into your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Short side option here. He's running left. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Boy, is it tough to fool this defense with how well they read and react to these plays. Held the line, and the QB keeper gets nada. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Rush looking to pass. This throw is cut. And that will not be enough for a first down. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help.
Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that picks up a first and goal. You love a huddle? Kate, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. That he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First down, and they go right back to it. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Kid, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late, great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S, because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that for a tackle for loss. He's got it! And he'll go down shy the end zone. They mark him at the four. We're to the two-minute warning from AT&T. The Cowboys are on the move here. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Back now. Pressure on its way. Ooh, that looked like a pick for a second, but it hits the end zone grass. They are very fortunate to get this one back, but now they've got fourth down. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. So fourth down brings out Brandon Aubrey to try for the Cowboys field goal. A very short kick here from the right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Sims now on the return. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brock, he's tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. They've got first down from the 31. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. And he's got this complete to Damian Pierce. And he reaches the 35 before going out. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, Stroud. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. To the air, Stroud. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. The big play nets him 17 yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. To the air yet again. It's Stroud. Connection made to Dell. And he's going to get past the 40 before he goes out. I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game.